Back in the 1800s, James and Lucretia Garfield lived in Hiram and for a time in this house. They still may. The family who now owns the house has nearly 30 years of stories that spill out of them. Tonight, a few of them and a few of ours. The first occurrence for the Malone family happened within weeks of moving in. Relatives were visiting and jokingly asked if the house was haunted. Dorothy replied somewhat sarcastically, Oh sure, President Garfield walks through here all the time. Just then a light in the dining room clicked off, and the spirits have been tripping the lights fantastically ever since, even for us. They may come back, I don't know. We just had a light go out. They say it happens a lot. Oh, they've had the wiring checked and rechecked, but after so many years, they've given up on earthly explanations. How could you explain a melodeon playing chords by itself? Heavy doors opening, closing, and locking on their own. A rocking chair creaking, though empty. Figures lurking and strolling through the house. A crossword puzzle completed during the night while the family slept upstairs. So I opened up the paper, and lo and behold, it was, it was already done. It was already worked out completely. Lee noticed the distinctive ease on the puzzle and took it to the Historical Society, which had volumes of papers handwritten by James Garfield. I saw it example after example of the E's being, you know, made in Garfield's handwriting exactly as it was on the crossword puzzle. So I was pretty well convinced. Their ghosts, they told us, love to interfere with things electrical. Yup. Can't say it was James, but our camera went goofy several times, and we don't know why. They love equipment. <laughs> there was never anything sudden. Things just seemed to evolve. Had it all happened within their first week of living in this house? The second week we'd have moved out. Rebecca Shaw, <laughs> Eyewitness News.